Hey, what's up, peoples? God damn, dude. Can't believe I made this tape. I just found it like a couple of days ago. I found this tape in the storage room up in the attic. I was looking through something right now or before. I was looking through this bag and I was like, what the hell is this shit? And I was like, oh my god, I remember this. So I went to my room and I played this and I listened to it. I listened to this tape, the whole thing. It's not that long, but I listened to it and I'm like, oh my god, damn. I used to rap like that before. Oh my god. I used to make songs for girls and shit like that. That girl Norma. Oh my god, I remember that wet back. Fucking, I was a... Uh, I was a gangster back then. <laughs> a gangster. I'm glad I'm I'm glad I did that though. Cuz like like I said in that tape when I was listening to it, practice makes better. Oh yeah, it makes it a lot better. You should see what I'm making now. I'm glad I'm still doing it and I hope I do it the rest of my life too. I pray, I pray to God that I'm going to still do it and that someday I'll become a rapper or or um or have like a really good band because like right now I'm not in that ways I'm not in the gangster ways no more I'm like like in the alternative hard rock Slipknot kind of kind of fucking ways you know I was in three bands like a lot happened it's like to, right now it's the 10th of November year 2000 and. It's been a while from since like 1996. Oh my god, that's like fucking old. But yeah, it's been like quite a while. I'm like 15 years old now. And I'm like, I'm going to Hamilton High School. I'm in 10th grade. And I'm right now, I'm in a band called Kindle Styles. We keep on changing the names. It's, it was Wreckage, and then it was like Jinx and stuff like that. But I've been in three different bands. The first band I ever been in, I was like making this kind of stuff up. Like, if you were player, I give you props, cause ain't no motherfuckers out there to fuck a fox. I got bitches over the side, oh, waiting to fuck the J O E. Put another Y spelling Joey. Now you know me. That that kind of shit. If, if you remember that stuff, Joey. I don't know, like. I was making that kind of stuff up, and like as the years passed before when I was rapping and stuff, like on the tape, I met this kid Brian. He was a drummer at Hamilton High when I went to high school, and um, we were in football together, and we kept on talking. We became like good buds and stuff like that. And I showed him that I could rap because I was always rap. Because I told, I showed everybody at school that I was rap. There, there might have been a couple of people too that was better than me. Oh yeah, they're good. They're like better than me. But, um, but Brian somehow liked my rap, and I guess I spent the night at his house one day, and he had the drum set there and stuff like that, and and uh, we we're having fun and stuff. And he's like, throw down a beat or throw down some lyrics, and I said, all right, I got some songs like from before from the past that I wrote. And he's all playing the drums, and I'm I'm singing and stuff. I'm like doing my songs and that I wrote and singing. He's like, "Hey, that sounds pretty good." And that's how I became a band. I started getting into metal and stuff like that, and it kind of became like no more rap, no more Master P or Tupac Shakur stuff like that. It started becoming like Corn and Slipknot and Incubus and stuff like that. You know, like Limp Biscuit, rap metal kind of stuff. So we we became a rap metal band, and that's how that's how it started. And his brother Rob played the guitar, but he oh my god, he sucked. He sucked so bad when we started our band out, and he was just beginning how to play the guitar. He had like an Ibanez guitar and stuff like that. He was just beginning and stuff, and um, it kind he sucked. But we kept we made like four songs or no three songs or something like that. And we thought we were so awesome until we met this other band that played at school. And it was called Inertia. It was Beamer's band and Bovard's band. Oh my god, they're like the best guitar players we thought. At least we thought at the time. They're like the fucking, the best guitar players in the whole world or something like that. I don't know. We were young too and stuff. But we are like thinking about that and stuff. And like, um, me and Brian went up to him. We just, we we're just like, hey, listen to this shit. You gotta hear this. And they liked it, so it became Snarf, and, like, that's that's when Snarf, the big band, 
came up at school and everybody knew about us. We made these flyers, passed them around school. We even got in trouble and went to ISS for flyers because it cut out a Playboy girl. Fucking, uh, Sable or something like that. I cut her out and put her on there and condoms and shit on the flyer if you ever see it. But I did a lot of shit with Snarf. We made like seven songs almost. Not, not seven. That's my new band, but... We made like around five Arizona song and the player song and shit like that. Wanting. Made a whole bunch of songs and then like like um I guess Inertia had this other band. So they were playing in another band while they while they were playing with our band and shit. And um we found out and like we're like, What's up with that dude? why are they playing with this other band and stuff? And Robbie, Robbie's like, Robbie, uh, Brian's brother, the drummer, he was doing his own stuff, like practicing, keep on practicing stuff, because he wasn't in a band, but he would stay at home after school and practice every fucking day, but we wouldn't even pay attention to him, but back to the band and shit. So, like, Beamer and Bovard one day told us that, uh, wait, 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 let me get back to there. We also, we, we had fun with Snarf. We played at the Mason Jar two times and it was so awesome everybody at school like was like hey I love your band Snarf and they used to make fun of me too I used to be in this drafting class when I wanted to be an architect and stuff and they used to make fun of me god they make fun of me and I'm like oh shit at least I have a band though but I'm kinda glad that they made fun of me because it kinda boosted my self esteem up and said like fuck you dude you can suck my fucking cock and at least I'm in a band. I got a lot better at it and shit. And so, um, they told us that they're in a different band that, that Beamer and Bovard, the guitar and bass player, were going to quit our band and shit. And me and Brian were like, oh shit, what are we going to do? We don't have enough, we don't have a band no more. What are we going to do? And we didn't, we didn't even think about Rob or anything else or anybody else that plays at school. And it felt like the whole world was going to end. I swear to God. It felt like... To me, I don't think... Brian was kind of getting bored with the band, too. But I loved it. I love singing. I love I love doing any everything. I love singing. That's what I want to do with my life, too. Like on the tape when I was in that rap years or whatever. I love singing. I love it. And, um... They just said that they're going to quit. And... So like we we took they took off and shit. We weren't a band no more. It was Snarf. And we weren't the band no more. And I was so depressed. I was so uh, I was like that day after school. I even remember it. It was like I think it was raining. I think, but I don't remember. But I was on my bed. I wouldn't get off my bed. I was just lying there and I was crying too. So bad. You should have seen me. I was crying so bad on my pillow. I was like, oh. God, I love my band. Jesus, please give me another band. Please, please. This is what I want to do with my life. I didn't want to go back to rap because I like changed to metal and it felt so good changing to metal and stuff. It felt so good like like it was a part of me and I had to do it, you know? And that God put me on this earth to do metal and to start it when I was like young and stuff. But, uh, I was depressed. I was depressed all day. I didn't eat nothing. I was like fucking... I was out of it. I was crying. I didn't talk to nobody. My mom was like... Like, oh, are you alright, son? Like, she was like... She was sad for me, too, because I told her that I didn't have a band no more. She was like, oh, that's alright. And stuff like that. And she's like... My sister encouraged me, too, like, saying, like... Most most singers go in a lot of bands. They they're not only in just one band. They they're usually in like a couple of bands, you know. And then my my sister encouraged me, and like that kind of felt good, saying like most singers are in like a couple of bands and stuff, and that they they jump to other bands. Like they're not just in one band, you know. You know what I'm saying? But um, kind of felt good. And then like I guess I didn't have a band for a while. And then I met this kid, Marty, at school, and he played the guitar, and I met another person at school who played guitar. And, uh, like, I went to their house, and they live in the Santans and shit. I went to their house and stuff, and 
we got together and we started playing some good stuff, like some hardcore stuff though. It was harder than rap. It was like screaming and shit. And they loved it. They like they loved me so much. They're like, Yeah, we got a singer and stuff. We're gonna become a band and I was like, Hell yeah and uh I felt the feeling again, like that feeling, that tingling feeling in your stomach to where Yes, we're we're a band now. I, I'm becoming a band. I have like friends and shit, and like good band members and shit. And I asked Brian if he wanted to be a drummer because, but he was in this punk band with Robbie. He, they were doing it with their own friends. But I asked him still, and he said, "Yeah, but it was too far because it was in the Santana, so he doesn't know and shit." And my mom kind of got sick driving out in the Santans and shit, like driving me all the way out there to go play with their band and shit. She kind of got sick and stuff. So I was like... We just, we also played at, at parties too, that, that band at, with Marty and the Santans. It was called Jinx, and we named it. And like my one of my friends, Jason, and shit, he drew a whole bunch of pictures and shit. And like That band wasn't really popular at all. It didn't really go anywhere. It wasn't popular at all. There was a couple... Like the guitar player, Marty... The, the only reason it was popular because he would tell all his friends and then all his friends would be like hey you're in a band with Marty that's pretty cool and shit like that and, but um it didn't really go anywhere I mean like we played we didn't make up our own songs all we played was System of a Down and stuff like that and like song cover songs that, that's what we played we never made up anything else because they sucked oh my god they sucked at making their own shit I always, I always used to tell them to make up, make up something your, make up like your own shit, like make up a song. And they'll be like, uh, let's play Three Elevens and shit like that. Let's play some cover song, and I'll be like, oh, here we go again. I don't want to play a cover song. I want to make up my own shit. And so it was far away too. It was at the Santan. So I told them that I just had to go and stuff, and that I couldn't be in their band. So I, th I thought, I thought I made the right decision and shit at the time. And my mom was kind of happy because she didn't like driving out there that far and stuff. And so, um, like, time has passed and shit. And I guess I, I, was, I started going back to rap and stuff, you know. Started singing. But I, I started singing, too. I, that's when I started singing. That's, that band got me to sing. See, I jumped to Snarf. I was rapping. Then I jumped to Jinx. And then Jinx taught me how to sing, that band. So I started singing and shit, like like weird and shit. And then, and then like I started spending time by myself, just doing whatever. And I started writing my own shit, like singing and rapping combined, a combination or shit. And um, I guess like I made this one song before. I I, I forgot all the shit that I made because it's like fucking drugs that I do and shit. But uh, I made this one song and. I showed Brian again, but Brian didn't like getting with my band no more. He did, I guess he didn't like me or something like that no more. But I showed him anyways, and he said, oh, this sounds pretty cool. And I went to their house, and I played with Robbie. And, oh, my God, I heard Robbie play. He is so fucking awesome. I was like, damn, dude, when did you learn how to play like that? And he was like, I just practice every day after school and stuff. And I'm like... Oh my god, dude, you gotten so good, and I was like begging to go back in their band and shit. And they didn't want they didn't want me because I kicked Robbie out when I got with Snarf and shit. And um, I was begging back go back, and like they didn't accept me because they were in some other punk band called Paranoia or something like that. And um, I guess I made something up because I was like anxious and stuff. And one time I went to their house and stuff. I, I don't know. I, f I forgot what it was for. I think I was picking something up or something. But I went to their house. And I guess their punk band was playing or something like that. Their their punk band with with uh, fucking Brandon and Adam. They were the guitar player. I went to their house after school. Yeah, I was like lifting weights with Brian or something like that. And then like um, I guess Robbie was playing and shit. And then... They're all fucking doing freestyle or something like that, playing whatever. And then I get on the mic, and Adam kind of got mad or something like that. But I just said, oh, let me just do something. And I just sang my shit that I wrote. 
and, and it was like fucking singing and shit. And they're like, you sing now? I'm like, hell yeah, I sing now. I, I, I was singing like Till Jinx, that one band. And Robbie liked how I singed and shit. And he's like, I didn't know you can sing. I thought you only rapped. I'm like, I know, I thought I only rapped, but I kind of discovered how to sing too. And like make freaky shit with my voice. And he's like, hell yeah. And uh, so like, we didn't really become a band yet. And so, um, this is kind of new too. It's kind of new. It didn't happen like too long ago. It happened like a year or something ago. And um, so they made up this one song, 